about the World Series, have what do you guys think has been going on so far? Are you guys surprised to see that the Rays are tied with the Dodgers? Uh, yes, just because uh, this last game, Dodgers should have had that one. And, you know, sometimes things don't always go according to plan. And, and at the last, literally like the last possible minute, uh, Tampa Bay was able to pull out a, a victory and tie up the series. It should be 3-1 right now. Um, but I still I still got got uh, the Dodgers coming out of this this series. Y'all know I've been pulling for Brooklyn. Um, y'all know, and, and, you know, for the for the people at home, when I say Brooklyn, that's because when you're from Brooklyn, you're always going to be from Brooklyn. And um, and the Dodgers are most certainly from Brooklyn. They spent a lot of years in Brooklyn. Uh, they broke the color barrier in Brooklyn with Jackie Robinson, uh, you know, all those years ago. So they, they always going to be Brooklyn to me. Um, but I still got I still got the Dodgers taking this uh, this series. But uh, Eric, are you are you a little bit surprised that we're tied up two two right now? I'm really only surprised because of the ending last night, as we talked about. Um, Rays finding a way to score those two runs in the bottom of the ninth with two outs um, when it looked like you know they were going to be down three one. They were down literally to their last strike. Um, but overall, I, I think the series is playing out the way I thought. I had originally predicted the Dodgers in six. For the most part, I think the Dodgers have been the better team in this series. It's just last night's loss is, is unfortunate if you're rooting for the Dodgers because now you know um, all the momentum has shifted to Tampa Bay. You know, they they win that type of game and you see the reaction from Dave Roberts, the manager of the Dodgers, and you know that the Dodgers felt like we not only should win that game, we should be one game closer to winning a World Series. And for the Dodgers, I think tonight is a must-win game just because this is their third World Series appearance in the last four years. They lost the last two appearances. They cannot afford to lose tonight and go down 3-2 to a Tampa team that's, that's obviously showing you they won't just go away. Exactly. My, my, my sentiments, exactly. Uh, the good thing for the Dodgers, they have uh, Kershaw pitching tonight, um, and, and he's been pretty light. So I do think that he comes um, comes home with the win tonight, and then ultimately I think they go to, 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 to close it. Um, it sucks because you know the the, the pandemic, it, it's throwing off everything right now in all sports. You know what I'm saying? So we're not really seeing actual home field advantage. We didn't see home court advantage in the NBA, um, you know, because everything was in the bubble, and and now we're not seeing it again. So which is why I do think that at least you know helps out with the with the Dodgers because this would have been a tough one to be going back to to to, to Tampa, or you know what I'm saying. Um, so I think that I think they'll be good. And again, Kershaw is pitching. He's gonna he's gonna do his numbers. So I do think they go up three two in, in the series. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Shout out to a Mookie Betts and uh, Eric. I got to tell you, you know, I, I swear these guys and these other media outlets watch the show, and uh, and they be stealing the takes because I literally this is the first time I've ever heard say someone say that Mookie Betts is the best player in baseball was last week on the show. When you said it, so I got to give you your, your, your props on that one. And then as soon as you said it, the, the next day, then I started hearing everybody say, well, you know, Mookie Betts and and, 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 and for the same exact reasons, too. Uh, you know, Mike Trout is the guy, but he hasn't made it to the players and been proven. And I'm just like, in my mind, I'm just like, yeah, these dudes really just sit up here and watch the show and, and still takes. Yeah, I, I, I said it uh, last week and I felt that way for a little bit because um, it's one thing to be able to perform in a regular season. We see a lot of guys put up, you know, inflated numbers in a regular season. It's another to do it when all the money's on the line. And to me, Mookie Betts single-handedly saved them in the series against the Braves with those defensive plays he made. Mm -hmm. And then in the World Series now, he's showing you the, the true definition of a 5-2 player. And aside from, you know, the, the bobble of, of the potential double yesterday that led to the game-winning uh, run, I mean, Mookie has done it with the glove. He's done it with the bat. He's done it with his speed. Um, you know, he, he's doing it all out there, man. I think Mookie Betts is a phenomenal ball player. And I think he's just showing everyone that he is the best baseball player um, right now. And he's, he's making the Red Sox regret that they gave up on him so quick, man. You know, they, they gave up on him for, for the wrong reasons. And he's showing you why you should always keep a talent like that. And this is baseball, so there's not there's no salary cap, so it's not like you couldn't afford him and whoever the hell else you wanted to have on your roster. You know, it's, I don't I don't I didn't I didn't understand that when it happened. I was okay with it when it did happen because not only you know does he not have to play in in in, in the Yankees division, but he gets to go to to the Dodgers, which is a team that I like. Um, so you know, hey Red Sox, you blew another one. 
got rid of Babe Ruth yeah. all those years ago. <laughs> now you got rid of Mookie Betts, you know, and, 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 and you guys are horrible for it. And I, I will say, yeah, yeah uh, obviously, because Mookie Betts in his prime, um, it's just a, a ridiculous move at that point to trade him away when you, you they had at least had him for one more year in the contract. Mm -hmm. They could have at worst kept him for that year and then see if they could possibly get the extension done. But I will say in regards to tonight's game, I think tonight is a legacy game as well for, for Clayton Kershaw, as you mentioned, because before his previous start in the World Series, he had struggled in all of his postseason starts. And he's a guy that we consider probably the best pitcher of this generation, a multiple times high young winner. Yeah. Again, he's a guy that I, his legacy is on the line because you cannot be considered one of the best of your era and you can't come through in these moments. Losing tonight would put them on the verge of losing their third World Series in four years. So it's a big night for him. And, and CJ, you, you told us that you, you had you had an interesting reason for why you were picking the Dodgers <laughs> to close this <laughs> thing out. <laughs> Let the people know. Okay, well, I'm a huge diehard LeBron fan, and he had a shout out to the Dodgers and said that he was very impressed that they were in the World Series. So I'm going with the Dodgers. <laughs> so good luck to them. I mean, it'll be big for the city. It'll be big for the city. I mean, you know, you just had the Lakers celebration, now you have the Dodgers celebration. Uh, the Rams are looking really good in football, so it could be it could be their time. And, I think it's something that the um, LA needs, you know, another win. Yeah, no, definitely. And it's crazy yeah, again because it, there's, it's literally been LA, Florida in, in basketball. And now we're talking about LA, Florida in baseball. Shoot, if you mess around and get LA, Florida in football too, that would just be crazy if they, if they could, could uh, complete the trifecta because the Rams are, are definitely a strong team right now. They're definitely a playoff team. So, so, and they've been there recently, you know. And it's definitely long over that they need this because they last a uh, couple years in the World Series and they unfortunately lost each time. So they definitely need this. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, we, we will keep you guys posted. By the time we get back to you guys next week, the World Series will be over. So we'll be doing our official uh, recap of the World Series. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from 